In the dynamic world of Chinese dramas, actors may find themselves replaced for a variety of reasons. Occasionally, scheduling conflicts prompt the need for a new performer to step into a role. Alternatively, disagreements with the script might lead a star to depart voluntarily. In more unfortunate cases, onset tensions or issues may result in an actor being let go, prompting the introduction of a replacement character. Here are five instances of actors being replaced in prominent upcoming Chinese dramas. After the adaptation of Fox Spirit Matchmaker into 3C dramas, the first part has been completed and is highly anticipated with over 2 million reservations. The most attention is on the Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Yu Hong, featuring a lineup of industry superstars and talented fresh-faced actors. With excellent production quality, it undoubtedly shines among the rest. Unfortunately, actress Yuan Bingyan will not get to busk in the drama's glory. She was initially slated to play the role of Tu Shan Yaya, however she was implicated in a tax evasion scandal and facing uncertain waters due to the unforgiving nature of Chinese authorities. However, she had to stop a few days and because of her tax evasion scandal. After news broke about Crystal Yuan Bingyan's tax evasion case, many wondered what will happen to the fate of her role in the drama adaptation of Manhua Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Yu Hong. The series is being helmed by Yang Mi and Simon Gong Jun and Yuan Bingyan was billed to be the second lead. However, days after the scandal, eagle-eyed netizens noticed that the cast list for the series Dubon page appeared to have been updated to Bambi Xu Shudan's name for the role of Tu Shan Yaya. However, by the time the booting ceremony occurred, the casting had been changed to actress Gui Shouting who had previously worked with the producer of the Yu Hong chapter in 2022 hit, Love Between Fairy and Devil. While Spirit Fox Matchmaker had only began, so replacing Bing Yen was easier, however, another drama she was the female lead in, Love Never Fails was facing a different problem. The production team had wrapped up everything, the drama had been approved to air as it received its distribution license just before the scandal. So to avoid their time, money and effort going down the drain the producers had to enlist the services of actress Hui Xian to step in as the female lead. They are reportedly working behind the scenes to get the drama ready for 2025. With production completed since year 2020, The Golden Hairpin had been slated for a 2021 summer release, but was derailed by then-lead actor Chris Wu Yifun's industry-rocking sex scandal, putting the fate of the 300 million yuan production into limbo since The Golden Hairpin, which was filmed during the height of Wu Yifun's popularity, took eight months. Thinking to leverage on Chris' fame, the production crew even altered the female-centric slant of the book into a male-centric focus for the drama. Since they had pumped a lot of money into the drama, the production team tried their best to salvage the drama for its eventual broadcast. While the production team considered using artificial intelligence in post-production to change out Chris Wu's face, they eventually decided against it as the use of such technology would cause the character to feel much less realistic. Last year, Lin Gingxin was rumored to step in for Chris after photos of him wearing costumes for the drama were released. However, it was revealed that the photos were created with an AI face swap and Lin Gingxin also did not publicly confirm that he was shooting the series. Later, Pen Guanying was rumored to be cast to refilm the drama and the Chinese name of the drama was also changed. Both the original female lead Yang Zi and the new male lead have already reshot their scenes together so the drama is likely in post-production and will air in late 2024 or early 2025. The drama is expected to ramp up its publicity efforts soon. Xiao Zhan has been replaced in two of this year's highly anticipated wuxia dramas. While more C dramas seem to be attempting a seasonal format, oftentimes, the sequel just never happens. Even if it does, there's often a change of cast because of conflicting schedules. The headache of getting everyone on board was even bigger for Joy of Life 2 since the upcoming drama has more than 30 characters. The good news is that the 15 main characters are coming back. However, Xiao Zhan who played a smaller yet pivotal role as Yen Bingyun towards the end of season 1 was not announced as part of the cast. Instead, the role of Yen Bingyun has been given to Wu Xingzhan who's played a supporting role in a number of dramas in recent years. Since we're on Joy of Life, let's just add the other major switch up. The role of Yi Linger, Lin Wanner's friend, has been replaced by Jin Chen. While Jean Chen is a great actress, fans are worried that the original actor brought life to the character of Yi Linger, and the new casting lacks the chemistry with the characters of the second prince and Yang Linger's potential love interest, Fansija. But it is what it is, the drama has already finished shooting and is going to be released this year and hopefully the changes won't hurt ratings. Xiao Zhan was also replaced in Dolua Continent 2 now known as the Land of Warriors. He was the main character, Tang San in the first installment. 
Unlike Joy of Life 2, The Land of Warriors replaced all six main characters to younger and newer faces. While Xiao Zhan didn't reveal the reason why he will not be reprising both roles, the changes are most likely due to other commitments. But it could also be due to contractual disagreements. When Xiao Zhan did both these dramas he was still on the come up and he has since become a mega star and that comes with many more zeros on his paycheck and sometimes producers are either unwilling or unable to meet his requirements. The upcoming drama adaptation of Burning Flames which has recently obtained its distribution license also had its fair share of cast changes. When the drama was officially announced only Rin Jialuan's name was indicated as the show's starring lead. Noticeably absent on the casting announcement was the name of the female lead who had been slated to be actress Li Yitong. However, up until press time, only the announcement of Rin Jialuan's casting was reflected on its official account. A day later Li Yitong's team finally revealed why she wasn't included in the announcement. In a lengthy post, they first confirmed the actress was indeed cast to play the role of Bai Kai. They said Li Yitong has been fully committed to the project's success. Not only did she turn down other projects whose filming schedules overlapped Wu Gongji's timelines, she was also diligently studying up about her character, the script, and the story's origins. Aside from this, her studio said they also kept mum on the various slander circulating online against her from comments calling her a drama queen and some accusing her of wanting more screen time despite the story being more about the hero's journey. However, with the project's success as their priority, they said they didn't make a fuss about it anymore. That's why they said they were pretty blindsided about how things panned out. To this day, we have no knowledge of the production's marketing and promotion strategies, nor did we receive any heads up. Things have veered away from the beautiful vision we had when we first agreed to work together, making it difficult for us to move forward with a sincere heart. After that controversy, the role of Bai Kai went to Xing Fei who Rin Jialuan collaborated with in 2021 modern romance Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard. Perfect Match, Yu Sheng's latest project, stirred controversy with Xu Shudan initially slated for a role, sparking anticipation. However, just a week later, promotional posters swapped her for Wu Xuani, angering fans who deemed the change unfair. The drama didn't stop at the poster switch, but further escalated during a live stream to promote Perfect Match, which unveiled Wang Xinyue and Liu Yuxiao as leads and Wu Xuani joining the cast. Yu Xing addressed the casting controversy, revealing intriguing details that pointed to Xu Shidan despite not naming her directly. According to him, a certain actress was very enthusiastic, extremely enthusiastic. She found the script appealing and didn't care about billing order. At that time, the female lead wasn't cast yet, but when I discussed the character with this actress, she said it didn't matter to her, she just wanted to act. Yu Xing mentioned that she's both beautiful and talented, so he thought, why not give her the opportunity? At one point, the actress told him that she even rejected a female lead role in another project for this one. However, Yu Xing claims this actress suddenly dropped out, that she took the female lead in another project and disappeared right before the shoot of Perfect Match. He added, it was a bit alarming, which is why he has nothing but praises for Wu Xuani, hailed as a savior by Yu Xing for stepping in as a replacement. Yu Sheng's comments during the live stream further fueled the fire, the top comment was one that accused him of being bitter. Yu Xing did not back down and claims that even the actress's agency is not siding with her. He went on to reveal chat records with Royale from Jaywalk Studio, which is Xu Shidan's agency. The conversation saw him complaining about the artist having a bad character and lack of integrity while the latter apologized and tried to placate his anger saying the chance to play female lead must have gotten to her head and that they're mad too. Whether Zhu Shudan did all this is up for debate, but the fact is, Yu Xing loves the attention and publicity. Which actor were you sad to see go? Let me know down in the comments.